Well, very good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing today? Very good afternoon. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. You tell me, how are you doing? What about you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm pretty well and doing fantastic my life. Thanks for your kind concern. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I do have some testing question for you that I want to ask you. And uh, my first question for you is, how, how one person can use his silence as his power in order to learn anything in his life? How a person can use his silence? Yes. In order to learn anything? Yeah. He can simply observe. He can simply listen to the other people. That is, I think, most uh, efficient way of learning anything. Most of us, we, we are kind of impatient. We have no patience to listen to the other person carefully. Instead, we want to answer every time. So I think silent means you should quietly observe other people, how they behave, how they uh, learning things. And this is how you can learn. But most of the time, it's not about learning. I feel that if you are silent, you are getting more respect, respect and attention of other people. Uh, generally, when you are in a group and the four people are talking to each other and there is one person who is silently observing other people, people want to listen to him, actually. And he's getting more attention. He's getting more respect. And sometimes I have feel that uh, this is with the people like introvert again. I told you one day. So this is one of the quality of these people. Yeah. Wow, that's a very interesting answer. And from right, uh, from right now, I will not speak a single word. I will be keep myself in silent. <laughs> okay. After like this kind of benefits of it. <laughs> Question for you is how a language does affect a human behavior. How language does affect a human behavior? Language affects on human behavior. Yes. Language, obviously, human behavior is defined by his language and the way he talks. If somebody is talking to you so nicely, obviously, you will feel interested talking to him or her. And on the other hand, if somebody is speaking very rough language, which is not up to the mark, you, you don't like to talk with that person. You don't even feel like replying to him. So language plays an important role while it comes to communication or speaking or to judge about a person or a human. So if you are a human being which who you know language, but you know how to speak, how to present yourself. So obviously you're not considered to be a good person in the eyes of other person. So you always speak uh, like you should think before you speak anything. And yes, language should be proper. It should be speak in a way it is actually you should not add your own things into that. I think <laughs> this is all about me. I don't know. You understand what I said? Yes, I got your point, and that's uh, totally true. Because uh, I hope, in fact, I have observed, language is the only barrier where people are not even to communicate with each other. For example, um, I'm not sure where are you from. I forget. Sorry, but if you suppose if you are from Maharashtra and your native language is Marathi, and you'll start speaking Marathi with me. And I'm from Uttarakhand. My native language is entirely different. So I can't even understand you. If I can't understand you, so that how can I talk to you? It means uh, I would I would try to avoid you because I can't understand you or you. So why should I talk to, with you? And there are so many other examples. For example, someone is speaking English so well. His accent is good. Vocabulary is good. Everything is good. But I'm a beginner, right? I can't understand that advanced speaker. So will I or take my approach to us to talk to you? No, I will try to make a distance from this guy, all right? The third thing is that, for example, um, you have a good command for a language, okay? But I don't have that good command on that particular language. So I will always try to skip that conversation. So this is how, like just because of your language, you, you're, you are going to affect so many people. And that's true, you have said right. Now my uh, third question for you is, what do you understand by articulation of thoughts and how can be more articulated? 
articulation i think we have already discussed the same point in our previous video the articulation means how you present yourself like the things you already know that but how will you transfer your thought your viewpoint about something in a way that the person should be able to understand you very easily and effectively like that is called the effective communication if you articulate well you are good at articulation your communication is going to be considered that it's an effective communication which is very important for the uh, communication it is the main thing like why we do communicate the purpose is only that other person should understand so articulation is a way of expressing your thoughts in a such a way that person will be able to understand in the same way or like easily yeah wow oh, that's really a fantastic answer from your side and uh, uh, for example if anyone wants to become a public speaker but he has a fear of public speaking so how he can overcome with that particular fear see practice is the only thing i feel the, the more you will practice the more like you will be good at articulation it is not something that you can learn overnight you will practice daily you have to listen to those speaker who are good at articulation there are so many speakers you can choose as per your choice like whom you like most you should start listening to them and you should start copying them imitating them and slowly you will be able to understand like okay this is how we should present ourselves this is how we should articulate so it is a process it's a journey you have to enjoy the process keep working practicing and one day you will be able to articulate well because you know if i talk about me 2 years ago i did not even know how to speak single correct sentence but now i'm able to express myself i can express my thoughts very easily and i most of the time i try to speak in easy words so that the person sitting in front of me he'll be able to understand everything so that is the uh, meaning of like correct articulation yeah Now, well, thank you, thank you for giving such good advice to all of those who are trying to become a good public speaker and they have a public speaking fear. And uh, my next question for you is that, uh, what are the differences between language acquisition and language learning? Language acquisition. I don't know the meaning of that. Acquisition means something acquired. Yeah, it's something like that. Yes, you're right. Acquire something, and what the other thing is? Language yeah. learning. Language learning. Yeah. Language learning and acquisition. I think both are same. There's maybe slightly difference. Um, uh, but I'm not sure what is the difference. Let me tell you. Still, like the language learning means that you are learning. uh how to speak or you are learning a new language simply but acquire means you are fully into that language and you are trying to be perfect in that particular language i am not sure whether it's correct or not i just guess <laughs> so you can tell me the correct uh, answer fine <laughs> no in fact i don't also have that much idea about this particular question because uh, someone asked me this question and i thought let me ask to someone who's really proficient in english so i, I didn't find any one except you so that's why i'm i'm asking to you <laughs> i don't know I'm, i'm not sure but maybe language acquisition is something who are born with this language i um, mean to say that they have acquired by their birth the language uh, they don't need to learn separately they don't need to go to school in order to learn it. for example native speakers from united states or united kingdom australia they all are language acquirer means they don't have uh, they don't need to learn grammar and vocabulary and pronunciation all this stuff maybe if they want to take it as a profession for example they want to become an english trainer for that only they have to go through with some courses like toefl celta and all these courses in that way though they are native speaker of english but there are some technical details of this language which they need to study so that could be a possible i'm not sure but when it comes to language learning we all are language learners we are learning this language isn't it like uh, i have been learning this language for the last few and a half years mm -hmm. first i started learning uh, basic vocabs then basics and transformation then i started learning um the basic grammar rules and i started modifying it i started learning some basic expression of english and finally i'm still learning how can i express my thoughts the thoughts which i have in my native language in english so i would consider myself as a language learner this is what i know i'm not sure whether it's right or wrong the way i have learning. replied to him i'm replying to you as well language learning i understood it is the same but acquisition i am not sure i will check on the internet but as far as you said like 
it is all about the native speakers i feel that it might be correct it should be correct yeah, yeah. Uh, okay and there are uh, four terminology number one word meaning number two vocabulary number three glossary number four terminology and last but very advanced that is lexicon how they all are differ from each other i don't know any of these <laughs> don't ask me <laughs> i only know vocabulary that's it i'm not i'm not that much speaking <laughs> you have okay, to tell fine. me this now yeah i don't know uh okay uh though i am not proficient i do have only bit idea like word meaning something which in, in a very normal way we use in our school days like first we are writing english word then we are writing the hindi meaning of that word uh when i'm saying vocabulary the vocabulary which we use in our day to day conversation as i'm using and you also use some vocabulary sometimes it's beginner level sometimes advanced level sometimes it's intermediate level when i'm saying glossary glossary is something that we study in books and all for example there is a perfect terminology for that particular aspect for example i'm saying um photosynthesis so you know uh, what is photosynthesis it's all about the process of that isn't it in science we have studied so when i'm saying terminology so terminology is something that is related to specific field i mean to say of uh, medical field they have their own terminology political they have their in law they have their own terminology in psychology we have like disorder trauma and these kind of terminology and when it comes to lexicon so lexicon is something that uh, it comes under the category of all these but when you use a perfect word for a particular thing that which should over there which is a very appropriate word so we can consider it lexical and lexicon is not not uh, all about only a single word but it may be all about your idioms your phrasal verb collocation everything whichever you use when you are speaking in order to express your thoughts and ideas in front of people so this is what i know i'm not sure okay though you explained well i'm not able to remember all of these things i know only vocabulary word meaning yeah that's a terminology little bit i understand yeah that's all Okay, fine. So, ma'am, for example, uh, if someone is asking you to speak about an example, okay, or uh, he he has given a topic to you, how do you explain that topic? Like, what other tips and tricks you have in order to explain that topic? As I've been asking question to you, so what exactly you are processing in your brain, and what exactly you do, so that the person who's asking question to you is able to pacify and satisfy him completely. See, if somebody is asking you a question, it is quite uh, difficult to answer them accurately. But if somebody is asking you to discuss a topic, that would be easy. People say that discussing random topic quite difficult. Uh, like obviously, at a time like you are you you are not prepared, and somebody is asking you, okay, tell me about this, and you have to speak for five minutes about this topic. So that people say that it's difficult, but I feel that it's not that difficult. Even if you don't know anything about that particular topic, you you. can speak little bit like three four lines you can speak but if somebody is asking you questions you have to obviously answer accurately they are asking or putting a question to you so you have to answer properly but topic speaking about topic is really easy if, for example if you ask me any topic i can explain you and the most important thing is that i should have a little bit knowledge about that topic i'm not saying that i should know everything about that but even if i have 20% of knowledge about that particular thing i i am able to create one paragraph out of that uh, like what is this how to use it this is good this is bad personally i like it or not like i can share my opinion i can discuss about the place where it is located anything i can discuss so it's very easy for me it's or it's totally depend upon the person to person and your presence of mind sometime it's required because the question when you you listen the topic it is totally up to you that how much uh, fast you calculate about that particular thing or how you can recall about that particular topic maybe you have heard about the topic like few years ago but now you're not able to recall about that so it's totally uh, what i feel is that it's totally a per, uh, person's intellect somehow it is rela related with the individual intellect that how much you are intelligent sometimes i feel <laughs> like and how much you have your memory your memory should be sharp for that because we we come across daily like so many things new 
new things because in this era like we are we are we all are using smartphones and tv we are coming across lot of new words lot of vocabulary lot of new things which we never even heard about so it's totally up to you how long you will be able to remember them so if you have few knowledge 100% you can speak anything but if you do not have any knowledge again um, i don't think that you are able to speak anything on that topic yeah to if we have knowledge so we can speak if i don't know something how can i speak there is no such magic will happen spontaneously that i would able to reply those questions that i am not aware of yeah true fact uh man here i'm done with my questions if you have any questions so you can ask i do have but i if you have any questions so you can ask to me i do not have such question i usually have like general conversation through my videos i don't uh, like ask any question to anybody it, except like the general conversation so you can ask me anything if i know the answer as i told you that i'll tell you if i don't know the answer i'll i can simply tell you that i don't know okay friend so what is the definition of beauty for you how do you carry beauty, beauty for your for your life yeah beauty in what sense like beauty means like the physical appearance or like beautiful or like the beauty of work or like in what sense you are asking about um holistically you need to cover all the angles not from one side you need to cover all the okay. angles that's why i've asked this question like what comes in your mind when i'm saying beauty okay so like it is a kind of topic for me you are assigning me a topic beauty and i need to speak on about that so like for me if you ask me beauty beauty related to so many aspects it's not only about the physical beauty or internal beauty if you love your work you can find beauty in that work also so it's totally up to you that from which angle you are looking for the like beauty for me if you ask me personally beauty means to look presentable look beautiful and i feel that for like almost all the girls definition of beauty is the same they want to look beautiful they want to dress properly they want want to like do everything which every girl wants but actually what i feel is that beauty of life like what i can see like my angle to see beauty it is all about the life how beautifully you lived your life how beautifully you have running this life like for you see every person is same every person is getting the same 24 hours now it is totally up to you that how you can make it beautiful as per your choices what are your things you want to do with this life we are getting only one life many people saves a lot of money they says they thought they okay we will enjoy after some time we are saving it many people they don't save any single money they thought that whatever we have we should enjoy it that's the beauty of life like people say that it is a beautiful nature we should enjoy every moment we don't know tomorrow we are we are will be able to see the sun or not see so whatever we have we should enjoy each and every moment of the life so for every person beauty is different so i think this is it from my end yeah true uh, i totally agree with you have covered everything and, um, and that's true because i do consider that we two are two types the one is internal the second one is external external simply means your appearance your attire the way you speak the way you walk the way you deal with people the way you are looking at some one your hand moves and everything comes into the category of your external beauty and sin on the other side when i'm talking about internal beauty it all about your generousness your kindness your helping nature how uh, like good you are from your inside and are you ready to help other people or not and finally i would conclude like both are equally important depends on the scenario for example if you are uh, going for fashion designing okay fashion designing i'm not sure yeah like that or you want to become an actress so definitely there your outer beauty matters a lot as compared to your internal beauty at the same time if you are going for any service where internal beauty is required then all you have to like or reflect your internal beauty right that's really a good answer and uh, what do you mean by happiness what is happiness for you see for me if you ask me particularly me i feel happy when i live my life in my own way honestly i'm not following somebody's order i am my happiness is not depend on others uh whatever i want to do with my life i am doing it that's what happiness for me and i'm actually doing it 
I do not listen to anybody when it comes to my happiness. If I feel like going out, eating alone, I go out, I eat alone, I watch a movie alone. I I I love love to enjoy with me. So this is happiness for me. I enjoy my alone time. Alone time. I want to be alone for some time, and I want to enjoy everything. So. For every person, happiness is different. Obviously, somebody is like for someone. Most of the people they they feel happy when they are with their family, and they are like living together and sharing everything. It is also obviously for me. It is also same. Um, but sometimes, what I feel is that I can be happy without depending on others. It's not very compulsory that if my husband will go with me for a movie, then only I'll be happy. No, it's not like that. I can go and enjoy alone, and I can be happy at the same time. So everyone's happiness is like different. We cannot say about any other person. So for me, it's the same. Yeah, sure. Man, it's the definition of happiness very person to person. For example, in yes. your case, you have uh, said like you know whatever I wanted to do, I'm doing it, and that made me happy, and that makes me happy. In my case, I would say when I see people around me, they are happy. That makes me happy. So every single person has his own opinion about it. Um, that's very really good. Okay, so um, I think you have uh, heard about karma, right? I want you to tell me what do you understand by karma? And there is a saying that if you indulge yourself into good karma, you would be rewarded by God. At the same time. If you indulge yourself into bad karma, you would be punished by God. Do you believe on it? Yes, I what do. What do you think about it? I think that obviously every person is like we are living on this earth. Every person can do good things, but we choose to do some bad things. That is our own intellect. No one is pressurizing us to think in same way. And what I feel is that major role, like parents, play a major role in this. life like whatever we teach our children their mindset becomes like that if like since they are beginning since their childhood we keep filling the good thinking good deeds in their mind so like after when they grow up somehow they are connected with those thing that is called sanskar basically like people get sanskar from their house only so like if we are giving them those things 100% they are going to do good deeds but somehow it's not 100% true somehow like parents are giving 100% to their children but still they are not doing the same things which parents expected to do, do them so karma depends obviously it's person to person worry again and person has to deep think deep knowledge about the karmas most of the people they don't care about the karma and all they don't even believe in that they are like don't even believe in god so they are just doing what they like to do they are not thinking about the others emotion most of the people like even if i talk about this kalyug kalyuga we are the people like we we are selfish if i talk about me i am also very selfish when it comes to especially as you mentioned happiness i am very selfish my happiness is not depend on anybody else so similarly we are very selfish and we are doing karma to make ourselves happy uh but it should not be the case we should be kind we should be generous the internal beauty as you said that is important too which i cannot see in this era maybe like earlier in satyug dwapar yug you must have heard about these yugs and that time people are not like that they were so kind the karma was good and i have seen like the all ramayan mahabharata and everyone i have seen everything so i knew it when you do bad karma 100% you are going to get punished by gods in the next birth not maybe in not maybe not maybe in this birth but maybe next birth similarly i have heard one thing that if you uh, take some loan from somebody you have to pay it in the next <laughs> birth so i i am very much you know i took this thing very personally and i always take care of this thing that i should not take any single penny from anybody uh, without any uh, return so i do believe in karma and it's uh, individual choice it's your own intellect what you think what you do so i feel that more the people who are more attached to the spirituality they are very deeply linked with this karma and all and they do their deeds very carefully and as compared to the other normal regular people yeah wow that's really a uh, super duper answer i have heard from your side it seems to be that you are totally being indulged into spirituality or uh, in the early morning you started doing meditation and all these kind of things i'm not sure but that's literally marvelous and fantastic 
And uh, actually, ma'am, I have been talking about English and communication for long. I thought today, let me talk about out of the box so that you can blow your mind. You can talk about some different aspects and you can feel uh, the way you speak to, uh, about English or communication. Are you able to speak on the same about uh, any different or random topic or not? So that's what I'm checking. But uh, in my case, I'm still struggling, but in your case, you are so comfortable with that. It means you have a, not a quite, you have learned this language in a very a decent what? and to civilized way. This video again, I was not at all comfortable. I was pressurizing my mind to think a lot. Usually I do not take this much time to think before delivering my speech. But today, because the questions are out of the box and I have never spoke about them in my past, for that reason, I had to think a lot while I was speaking. So it's not that easy. And this is how you learn English, actually. I would like to tell my viewers that if you choose easy topic, the more topic, like easy topic you will choose, you're not going to learn anything. Choose difficult thing. 100% you are going to think about that. The process of thinking will be longer, but the outcome will outcome you receive, you will learn something from that. So obviously we should talk about different topic out of the box so that we can improve some vocabulary or we should also pressurize our mind to think more and this is how we can be fluent so maybe somebody's asked me next time these same questions i may be more prompt to them like the time which i took today in thinking maybe i will not take that much time in future so this is how fluency develop this is the correct way of developing your fluency yeah, in fact, man, I have decided like when I'm talking to beginners or at the people who are at uh, intermediate level, I will discuss about on English and communication, very basic and normal topics. But when it, uh, it comes to that, um, I'll get a chance to talk with some professionals speakers like you who are English trainer and uh, who are really good in their spoken English. I will not talk about English and all, rather I would go for some random topic that we can discuss and we can come up with some new ideas and that's how we can generate some creativity in our mind because every time I'm talking about a single topic, it's something I would consider it's your comfortable zone. You feel so relaxed and calm when you are answering. But at the same time, when someone will ask you something that I'm not saying that uh, you have 100%, at least if you have 20 or 25% uh, knowledge about the topic, how you convert that 25% information to that level where people will consider you that you have a 100% knowledge, that's an art and we need to work upon it. So here I'm done with my all sophisticated adverse questions and um, I'm, I'm literally glad that you have uh, given a very piece of time from your side to me and thanks for connecting with me. Same here. Whenever I connect with you, I get a chance to speak a lot. And this is how I improve my English. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. And yeah, have a nice day. Yeah, likewise, ma'am. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay.